It's been around five and a half years since CD Projekt Red gave us the first glimpse into the world of Cyberpunk 2077 via a teaser trailer, and now we were finally shown a full in-engine reveal of the game during the closing moments of Xbox's E3 2018 press conference. I'll share my thoughts and analysis of the new trailer's contents in another video, but for the moment, what I'd like to highlight is a hidden message that can be found if you pause the footage at just the right time. You may recall that CD Projekt Red did something similar for the teaser trailer all those years ago, where they talked about how the game would be a story-driven, non-linear, open-world RPG based on the Cyberpunk 2020 tabletop RPG, that it was still in the early stages of development, and that the trailer was made to draw new talent to the studio, while asserting that the game will release when it's done and when it's in the best state possible. In the new trailer, CD Projekt Red had a few more details to share discreetly, and while this hidden message does require a bit more effort to make it legible, the internet barely broke a sweat in deciphering the message, which reads as follows. It's been over 2,077 days since we announced our plan to develop Cyberpunk 2077. We released a CGI trailer, gave some interviews, and went dark. Normal procedure for these kinds of things, you announce a game and then shut up, roll up your sleeves, and go to work. We wanted to give you The Witcher 3 and both expansions first, which is why this period of staying silent was longer than we anticipated. Sorry for that. Oh, please don't apologize, those Witcher 3 DLCs were exquisite, and we actually love that unlike other publishers, you guys don't rush out your games. I hope you guys will improve your workflow moving forward to mitigate long development cycles, but I'm all for being patient if it means getting a better product. Anyway, CD Projekt Red continued, As soon as we concluded work on Blood and Wine, we were able to go full speed ahead with Cyberpunk 2077's pre-production, but we chose to remain silent. Why? At some point, we made a decision to resume talking about the game only when we have something to show, something meaningful and substantial. This is because we do realize you have been impatiently waiting for a very long time, and we wouldn't want anyone to feel that we're taking this for granted. On the contrary, it gives us a lot of extra motivation. The hype is real, so the sweat and tears need to be real too. But to the point, today is the day. If you're seeing this, it means you saw the trailer, our vision of cyberpunk, an alternate version of the future where America is in pieces, mega corporations control all aspects of civilized life, and gangs rule the rest. And while this world is full of adrenaline, don't let the car chases and guns mislead you. Cyberpunk 2077 is a true single player player story-driven RPG. You'll be able to create your own character and, well, you'll get to know the rest from what we show at our booth at E3. Be on the lookout for previews. The part about creating your own character is particularly noteworthy, as I know there are some people out there who were worried that we might be playing as a set protagonist due to the fact that the new trailer starred what looked to be a voiced protagonist. But based on what CD Projekt Red is saying here, it looks like we will have the freedom to create our own character from scratch and customize them as we see fit, which I'm very happy to hear about. CD Projekt Red continued, Before we finish, you probably have some questions, right? When? When we told you we would only release the game when it's ready, we meant it. We are definitely much, much closer to a release date than we were back then. But it's still not the time to confirm anything, so patience is still required. Quality is the only thing that drives us. It's the beauty of being an independent studio and your own publisher. So, my sources told me months ago that there was enough work left to do on the game, that a 2020 release is very likely, and that still sounds about outright, given CD Projekt Red is still apprehensive about giving us so much as an estimated launch year. Again, I'm all for waiting longer if it ultimately means getting a better game in the long run, but those who are hoping to play this game soon, I would temper your expectations. So back to the message. How big? Seriously big, but, to be honest, we have no bloody clue at this point in time. Once we put it all together, we will openly tell you what you can expect, and we promise we'll do this before we start talking about any pre-orders or ask anything of you. 
The fact that they don't exactly know how big the game will be yet further corroborates the notion that the game is probably still ways off. I do appreciate their dedication towards being open about the game's features like world size and their commitment towards transparency before beginning to take pre-orders and take people's money, a stark contrast to practices other publishers tend to employ nowadays. CD Projekt Red then answered a few other questions. Free DLC, expansion, DRM? Expect nothing less than you got with The Witcher 3. As for DRM, Cyberpunk 2077 will be 100% DRM free on PC. Microtransactions in a single player role playing game? Are you nuts? That's one thing about CD Projekt Red that I'll always love, their unyielding devotion towards consumer-friendly practices, towards keeping players happy. That means fairly priced DLCs that serve as major expansions to an already complete experience, no requirement of internet connection, and zero microtransactions just like Witcher 3, to which I say hell fucking yes. I did find it weird that they specified that the game would be 100% DRM free on PC. Does that mean that won't be the the case for the console releases. Not sure if that's just a misunderstanding or if there's something going on there. The message finally concluded with, once again, thank you for your patience. If you have a minute, do visit cyberpunk.net and share your opinion about anything with us. We read everything you post and we treat it very seriously. Yours, CD Projekt Red team. So yeah, cool and fun little way to engage with the community. You've gotta love how honest, direct, and sincere these hidden messages are. And given the studio's past history of high quality products and benevolent business practices, I genuinely feel safe taking their word for it. In CD Projekt Red I trust, and I'll look forward to the day when they can really blow the lid wide open on this highly ambitious project. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out. <laughs>